everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout to share for Coco Vanilla Studio. I am still using the Great Escape collection because I love it and it's perfect for so many of my photos. Um, so I have um, got two photos uh, today and I really wanted to make a feature out of the journaling card paper um, in the collection. They've got such fabulous journaling cards on them that um, I hadn't used uh, and I wanted to um, feature some of them because they're just love. They're really, really lovely. Um, so um, I decided to go for a grid design. Now, um, there was a time where I did grids all the time. Um, and I haven't, I looked back at my Instagram actually, and it turns out that I haven't done a grid layout for ages. Um, so this is really quite nice. They come together really easily. Oh, and I should say that since I've since then, I've also made several more. <laughs> you know, it's one of those really classic go-to designs that's really easy to use and comes together easily. And um, it's just really, really super simple scrapbooking. Um, so, um, so yeah, so um, here is my grid. I've got um, six pieces, six journaling cards, and two of them have got photos on them. They're not journaling cards uh, backing the photos. They are, that is cut from the six by eight, no, it's not, the A5 paper stack. Um, and um, yeah, so um, I've just distressed, and I cut them to the same size. So I've distressed the edges of all of those cards, um, and the others I will um, keep um, on display and then put some embellishments over the top. Um, I'm now just kind of going through figuring out where my clusters are going to go, my title. Um, I need, feel like I need to get my title in place and I've earmarked that bottom left journaling card because obviously it has a blank area on it. Um, so it's a perfect place to put my title and I wanted to go for Wild by Nature but it took me a little while to arrange uh, where my uh, words would go. I didn't really like it stacked like that but it didn't work really in any other way so I had to kind of figure it out. Um, I would have preferred two words together, so wild and by together and then nature, but then that made it too long and it, it, it that didn't work either. So um, I went with the stacked option, um, but that gives me a little bit of blank space that I'm not overly keen on. But you know, we have to live with these things. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Um, so um, yeah, so I'm using some flowers from uh, the Heart and Home collection. The colours go really quite well with this layout. And I'm a real, I really love to have florals um, on my layouts, even if they're about boys or travel. Um, I love having the flowers in all the different colours. Um, so um, Zoe, if you're listening, let's have uh, floral ephemera in every collection, please, <laughs> regardless of what it is. Um, that would make me happy anyway. Uh, but I love the flowers. Um, they're really great for layers. They're great for um, putting under other embellishments um, and they just add an extra something to the layout I think and, and I don't mind using flowers on boy layouts or um, layouts about travel either so um, so yeah bring it on I say all the all the all the florals um, so um, so yeah so I've got um, some florals behind my middle journaling card with the photo at the top there um, I've put a few um, down in the um, left hand side um, and then a little bit at the bottom right as well so uh, th they're just all kind of a, a starting point a starting layer and then I can put extra embellishments on top. Over on the right hand side, on the journaling card that says places I must go, um, I have got um, the, some of the titles from the ephemera pack on there. So I've got explore, roam and adventure is just underneath my photo. So you could argue that that's my title, uh, but I would argue that what of my nature is my title. I guess it could be either. Um, I love the words, the, the, the coloured words in the ephemera pack. They're just, um, they're just lovely. Uh, lovely font, lovely background. Um, yeah, just nice to add as embellishments. Under the words, I've got a couple or three um, stickers from the accessory stickers. Um, I love the phrase, I always love the phrase stickers, uh, strips like that. Um, I've got Rome Free, Exploring and Into the Wild. Um, and then at the bottom, I've got a few stars. So one fussy cut, one chipboard, um, a little banner that's fussy cut from one of the papers. Um, over on the left, I've also got some more stars. On all the clusters, I've added some stars stars from the puffy stars, the puffy stickers, and also the little black stars from the alpha stickers as well, not the alpha stickers, the phrases. Um, and that's pretty much me done. I'm going to put some journaling um, above the title where it says Wild by Nature um, and finished off with some splatters of black paint and some sequins. Um, so yeah, it was a super duper easy layout. If you're ever stuck for inspiration, go for a grid. They're just Brilliant, they come together so easily and so quickly. Um, okay, so thank you so very much for joining me today. That was Nikki Rowland for Coco Vanilla Studio using Great Escape Collection.